we have two more topics today. And with that said, let's talk about the fifth main topic. And the fifth main topic, we got to talk about Peacock again. Uh, let the Peacock um, jokes commence. But anyway, so we all know that Peacock is not on Roku or Apple TV. Not Apple TV. It's on Apple TV. It's not on Roku or Fire TV. It's on Apple TV. I have an Apple TV, and I therefore I can watch Peacock. And, well, people want... Whenever there's, like, a problem, there's usually a solution, and usually, like, a, a easy solution. And what a lot of people want to do when they realize that their Roku or their Amazon does not have access to a, you know, certain video, what a lot of people do is they will HDMI the thing. And that means they will take their laptop and they will take an HDMI cable, they will plug it into the TV, they will plug it into their laptop, and they will open the video and they will play it from the computer to the TV through an HDMI. It's very, very, very simple to do. Very simple. Even my mom knows how to do this one. However... People who did that, they wanted to do this for Peacock, like, okay, we'll watch Peacock on the website, and we'll go through the TV. Well, they found out when they connected the HDMI to the TV, it wasn't working. And then NBC admitted that Peacock does not allow HDMI connectivity. Now then, this is what the article says. Peacock, the new streaming service from Comcast and NBC Universal, officially launched Wednesday with a free tier that includes live channels and thousands of hours of movies and TV programming, as well as a $5 per month premium version with even more content as well as the channel's original series. The service, much like its rival HBO Max, launched without deals to be included on the Roku and Amazon programs. And we discussed this in last week's episode, and if you haven't seen the videos on why HBO Max and Peacock are not on Roku and Fire TV. You can go to my Entrepreneur Vlogs channel and watch those videos. They're not terribly long. It basically comes down to data. Seem to be talking a lot about data these days on the show. This left users of those platforms looking for workarounds, and one of them, it appears, does not work. Many users, including those who were watching English Premier League soccer telecasts that were exclusive to Peacock on launch day, noticed and pointed out on social media Wednesday. Some TV users who can't get certain services on their Roku or other platforms will run the services on their computer and plug that computer into their TV with an HDMI device. But with Peacock, that workaround doesn't work, and when users try, they get an error message with a picture of a cat and a message says, something went wrong, sorry, your video configuration is not compatible with Peacock. Try disconnecting an external monitor. In a tweet, Peacock confirmed that HDMI connectivity is disabled. They tweeted, HDMI connectivity is not supported at this time. Users will not be able to view view via external monitor connection. They will need to use their PC, mobile, or one of our other supported devices directly. That tweet was sent after 3 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, hours where a Bitcoin-related hack briefly disabled every notified user. Twitter account. Uh, Peacock also put a list of um, platforms that do carry Peacock, which includes most Comcast boxes, some from Cox Encounter, Apple TV, Chromecast, Xbox One, and the smart TV platforms of Vizio and LG. Now then, what do I think about this? Um, I'm confused, frankly. I don't know why they did this. Now, look, I understand why they're not on Roku and Fire TV. Again, there's data information. Like, they have created their own little algorithm. They want their own little ways of collecting data, and they want to control that data. They don't want to concede that data, or at least not as much of it, to Roku and Amazon. Because data is their product. You are the product. They are not making money off the subscription. They are making money off the ads that they will be putting on that app. As a result, they want to collect the data. But that should not be an issue with an HDMI. If you are watching this through an HDMI, you know what? You are still running this program through the browser, off the website. NBC can still see what it is you're watching. They even, I mean, yeah, and they could even know that you're watching it with the HDMI cable. But here's the thing. They know that, hey, you're, you're watching their product. You can still collect that information, you can still collect that data, you can still collect that for the advertisers 
why is Peacock not letting this go through? Why are they not going to go through? It, you know, it just, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and this is extremely anti-consumer. Now, some people might say, like, well, they also want to avoid piracy, you know, they don't want, you know, because here's the thing, if people can circumvent the, the Roku and Fire TV situation and plug their computer directly into the TV, that might weaken Roku and Fire TV's need to have them. Because they might say in their negotiations, hey, if people can't get it on our devices, they'll just HDMI it. Like, we don't care. Come back when you're willing to share your data with us. So, NBC Universal might be doing this as a way to, like, try to convince people to basically gripe and complain to Roku and Amazon because, hey, if you, if you can't work around it this way, then you're going to go to those services and say, please, please, Get them on your services. And in fact, there have been tweets that Peacock has sent out telling you to beg these companies to put the service on their boxes. You know what? That's not the consumer's problem. That is NBC Universal problem. They are the ones that need to make those deals with Roku and Amazon, not the consumer. But aside from that, I don't see what purpose this serves. Because again, you're still collecting the data. You're still seeing the viewing habits. You're not sharing this data with anyone. So why can't you just do it? I don't know. I don't know. This was a weird one for me. I, I can't completely. It is extremely anti-consumer. And I don't know. I, I just don't completely understand this. By the way, I do seem to believe that HBO Max does work if you HDMI it. So apparently Warner Brothers doesn't see a danger in this, but for some reason NBC Universal does. Well, whatever. I don't know. I would like to know what you think about this. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly.